All right. So uh, it's my pleasure to be able to introduce Dana, who's founder of the Inspired Life Design Studio, a certified high performance coach and creator of the Vision Ignition six weeks trans uh, transformative experience. Uh, Dana is the founder of Inspired Life Design Studio. She is a certified uh, uh, performance coach and life uh, vision architect. In addition, uh, she's a mother, wife, corporate executive, uh, healthcare disparity ambassador, sickle cell warrior, and le a legacy builder. Uh, people are her passion and nothing brings her more pleasure than empowering everyday people to create extraordinary results in their lives and business. For over 10 year plus years, she has experienced uh, uh, experience in helping people gain clarity, freedom, and joy uh, while building their mental stamina and accountability needed to optimize their strengths. Her approach is unique in that she utilizes her diverse background and neuroscience, linguistics, sales, and leadership development to help clients create sustained results and leave a lasting impact on their legacy. So we're really excited to hear from Dana. I had a great face-to-face -face with her uh, last week and really got to know each other in pretty short order. And uh, I'm really excited to hear this talk today. So take it away. Thank you, great. Jason. And thank you everyone for having me. Appreciate the opportunity to connect with you all. Um, I like to be highly interactive, but with 15 minutes, it's a little tight. So um, I'm still gonna try to sneak some things in there, but I really want you to, um, participate and really put that core value into practice of just that collaboration piece. So the title of the talk that I wanted to share with you today is the uncommon way to uplevel your business. I think it's extremely relevant to all of you right now and myself um, in this ever-changing world. And also there is just two essential pieces that for me, when I launched um, my private practice of Inspired Life Design Studio, these two essential pieces were the game changers for me. Um, so I wanna share it and I wanna actually practice doing it. So some of it we're gonna start here today, the rest you're gonna finish. I also have a couple giveaways. Um, so I'm gonna be giving away two coaching sessions and my information is in the chat. And if you need, again, I'll put my cell phone in there so that you can actually text me because Robert was just saying in our breakout, the amount of emails that we get are insane. And so for the purposes of the giveaway, I want you to just text me um, and what you're going to text me, I'll reveal in a, in a few minutes. So um, let me dive in. Let me share my screen and pull up my slides here. Okay. Perfect. Can everybody see that? Okay. Good. Okay. So here's where you get to participate already. So in the chat, I want you to look at these three choices and I want you to write which one you most resonate with as it pertains to your business results right now um, or you as a person. So there's three types of people that I typically work with and it's people who are looking for some clarity. They don't really know what they want and, um, and how they're gonna go about getting it. And so they're confused. So if that sounds like you or you're in a place in your business in a season where you're kind of figuring out I'm multi-passionate, I'm making a millimeter of progress in a million different directions, and you're kind of diffusing all of your effort and energy and not getting the results you want, type in the chat confused. The second type is people who know what they want to do, but they don't do it. And this is a very common space for uh, a lot of people, myself included, where I really shifted from this frustration mode to finally getting some fulfillment by building the systems and processes that um, actually daily work towards hitting my goals, as opposed to having this hamster wheel, which I'm sure we can all relate to that, right? Not enough hours in the day to get everything done. There's no such thing as really time management. It really is priority management. And so once I learned how to get better at managing my priorities and setting the systems, um, that helped. But for a while, and sometimes, still can shift into this frustration mode because every level of success can build a new level, a new devil, as they say, right? To tackle. Um, so put frustrated in the chat. If you're in a space where you're frustrated, you've got great ideas, but you can't seem to get that traction momentum. And the last type of person um, that I also work with is people who know what they want and they get it. They get after it and they're just looking to up level their success and continue to raise the lid on that fulfillment and what they bring to others. Um, 
I always say my specialty is legacy building because I really want to empower and equip people to not just let their gifts lay dormant and not take them to the grave, but to really live them out and share them with others. And that's how we grow our business. That's that's the uncommon way we up-level our business. The secret ingredient is truly you. It's you. And I'm sure you've all heard the saying that you don't get in life what you want. You get who you are. And some of the problems are that we face, we don't actually know who we are because we get overshadowed by life and all the things that come our way. And sometimes we make decisions that are not based on our core values. They're based on our fears, our anxiety. Um, They're based on urgency to create a change in our business um, or maybe a business partner that's not in alignment. And then we get these results that are not what we've wanted. They're inconsistent or we struggle getting referrals or attracting the right types of clients. Um, And so this is a really good way to just inventory yourself figure where you're at, because what we can track and monitor, we can measure and make improvements. So um, did anybody put theirs in the chat? I don't see the chat lighting up in there, but put it in the chat. Fulfilled, frustrated, or confused. Okay. So I love this saying, be yourself because an original is worth more than a copy. I think one of the most overutilized words that I hear is authenticity. Um, what does that mean? It's different for each and every person. But what I like about that word and the challenge to you is when you hear authenticity and words like intentional, how are you living it out? It's far beyond just the title and what kind of the buzzword is, but where are you unique? What are your unique strengths that you can do better than anybody else? What do people come to you for advice for? What do they lean on you for? And what brings you joy? Um, I love in our breakout that Uh, I can't remember her name. Where is she? Let's see if I can find her. She was talking about uh, Mickey. Mickey, yes. She loves to give back to others. So that energizes her. And truly, as business owners or as people that are working for someone else, we cannot pour from an empty glass. And so what we're about to do is really figure out a way to refill and reboost yourself so that you can really go further faster in the results that you're looking to create. Okay. And this, I won't go into deeply, but this is a way that I work with clients in terms of going from accidental growth to, again, this intentional growth, which just means life on purpose, getting up with a purpose, setting your daily mission and getting after it, breaking it down into small digestible parts, right? And shifting more from the accidental growth that may rely on your talent to one that's going to rely on your character. And that's really, really critical and essential because That's the difference between why sometimes we don't get sustained results, where we start a diet and we fall off, where we start to build a relationship and somehow the communication breaks down, or we start to get referrals and then all of a sudden they stop. And it's because a lot of times we think people are just going to find us or, you know, our talent will get us there, but we really need to cultivate our character um, and really never stop learning. So let's shift over. I know I'm moving a little fast. Everybody tracking along with me? Everybody good? I see I see Mickey shaving, shaking there. Thank you. Okay. So I love this picture. I am a very visual learner. Do I have any visual learners here in the room with me? Wave at me. Yeah. So I want you to think of life, right? As all of the problems we wake up, the challenges that we face. These are This represents the clouds, right? And this is us, the little airplane in the middle, flying and navigating through. And what's really fascinating is when you study aviation and you look at pilots and how they learn to fly, they have six different instruments that they need to train as their reference points. Because what happens when they get up in the air and they get into the clouds is they lose sight of the horizon. And how many times in our life and in our business have we lost sight of our horizon, right? When we've lost sight of what our vision is, what our mission is, or how do we actually put it into daily action? How do we attract the clients we want to see? How do we get the income that we want? Um, That's the, the clouds, right? The challenges that we face. So think about what are your reference points? How do you, how do you get your bearings? Well, for a pilot, there's a tool that creates an artificial horizon because mentally and what they see visually they will actually crash the plane based on just visually looking and seeing, well, I think I should go this way. It's literally as quick as 10 seconds 
a pilot can become disoriented when they don't have their reference points and when they're not trained to fly off those instruments that serve as that guiding compass. And so what we're about to start, and again, you're gonna do this as part of your homework, because I'm a coach, I always give homework, right? I'm always going to be 1% theory, 99% action. I don't like when we overconsume too many podcasts, too many books, and there's not enough action and too many trainings, right? So I wanna make this really practical and actionable for you. So the reference points, this is point one of the unconventional way that you can really up-level your business. There's, this is point one, is to really know your identity, who you are, what are your core values? Master Networks has core values that were so nicely laid out earlier. Your, your business is a picture of you. And so if you don't stop and take inventory, I heard a lot of people on the line here that do insurance. Um, and I know in, in my chapter, Barry Dorfman, he'll always say, have you checked your insurance? Maybe you don't have the proper levels of coverage, right? You work with a lot of clients that you want to make sure have the proper level of coverage. And it's the same thing for you here. Have you checked in to say, what are my core values? What makes me come alive? What do I want to be known for in my business? What do I want the customer to experience. So as I show this screen, I want you to look, write down, you could share it in the chat or you could write it down um, because this is what you're going to text me later on. Pick out the top four that stand out to you. And I know some of you might say, well, that sounds crazy. This looks, this is, there's a lot, right? Usually there's like eight or 10 that are just going to naturally pop out. You want to narrow it down to the four that kind of overlap that are your non-negotiables that you stand for, because this is actually what your customers will experience, your clients. These are the types of people you'll attract when you are first really clear on who you are, because if you're fuzzy on that, you're going to generate fuzzy results and you're going to generate inconsistent referrals and inconsistent clients who don't align with your value system. And that's where a lot of the frustration comes in when we're trading off our value system. So everyone tracking along, anyone look at this or have already done this type of exercise before, it's a very common exercise, putting it into action is a whole nother level um, that wants to share your core values. I'll take a quick pause. Don't be shy. Do you want me to share mine first? I can share mine if you guys, if it'll help. So my core four are to inspire. I inspire people into action to live out their legacy. I equip, equip is my next one. Equip people with practical tools they can put into action daily to create the systems for success. I serve, I have a high capacity and a, a heart for serving others. And I like to have fun. I think it should be joy in the journey. So that's my core four, right? There are other sub ones that are underneath there, but at the height of it, that is what I strive for with everyone that I am blessed to work with and in my life and my children. So um, that helps be my reference points when I face the challenges. It also just clearly defined how I can help and serve people that I'm looking to work with. Do you see how that just got put into action? Anyone have any similar ones or anyone want to share one of their core values? Just come off me. I see, I see Maria. What do you, what do you want to share, Maria? I uh, actually, one of my core values is quality. Quality. Uh-huh. I so, like that. Yeah, because we do quality work and not, not, you know, something that I've been learning is not to say try, but you know, we do. So we do our best of quality work, you know, and uh, and it's so nice when you hear testimonials for people that we did job for and that they said that we live like we never been there before. So love that's that. one of the the uh, the core values that I really love to hear, you know, when people give me a uh, feedback. That's awesome. I love the way you're making it come to light in your business and for your customers. Um, and when they give you that feedback, it does, it's energizing, right? When you're able to put that into practice. So think about just how Maria just explained that. If you're, if you're getting on the phone right after this with a referral or a new client, think about of how you could just 
easily bring them into your fold and attract them when you say, these are the four things I strive for and this is how I do it. It just automatically brings comfort and wants the person wants to work with you. So thank you for sharing that, Maria. Um, okay. Rick, Rick, yeah, shared go ahead. His, Rick shared his in the, uh, in the chat. Oh, perfect. Okay. Contribute, mastery, to teach, be sensitive. I love that. I love that, Rick. And I, so I want you to look, look at my information in the chat, text me your core values and how you're putting them into light. What does that mean to you? And I'm going to pick two winners to do a coaching session with, but these are great. I'm going to capture them here, but please make sure to text me. This is awesome. I would love to know more about how you're putting that into action for time's sake. I want to just get to the one last exercise. Oh, actually, hold on. That's, that's the last slide I'm going to share. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that I can see you all and show you this. Okay. So I said identity was the first part, right? Who you are, the core values. Second part, the other I, inventory. We are going to inventory your energy expenditures. So where your energy goes, right? Where your focus goes, your energy flows. And all of us are multi-passionate, have multiple priorities that compete for our time. So this is the one thing that was so essential for me to get traction and for my clients. It's called people pressure priorities. We're going to start it and you guys are going to finish this on your own, but take a paper. If you have, you're going to draw yourself in the middle. So there's you. And I just, for time's sake, want you to list three people that you are surrounded by the most. Maybe it's a business partner, it's a spouse, it's children, right? Three people. They're going to get their own bubble. You're going to name them in their bubbles. The next one, three priorities that you have. Now, obviously you have more than that, but just for now, put the three. That could be building a business. Maybe you also have a, a full-time job. Uh, maybe it's to generate more income, whatever the priority, your health, right? Health is a priority. You're going to list that in its own bubble. This is all the things you wake up with daily that pull on you and can drain your energy and can actually inhibit you from living out those core values. So this is a really important piece. The last thing is pressure. What pressures do you face daily? They're going to get their own bubbles. So maybe you you're the sole income provider. Maybe you deal with fear or anxiety. Maybe you deal with inconsistencies that you're frustrated with. So people pressure priority. You're going to map this out because I want you to see how much stuff you bring with you that actually holds you back. And I want you to go from being paralyzed by some of the pressure and priorities to being propelled forward. And the way to do it is to map this out. Okay. So you're going to work on this. The next critical piece is you're going to look at these people pressure priorities and you're going to put a D for drain if they are a huge consumption of energy and you feel drained afterwards. Just put a little D in their circle. And you're going to put an F for fueler if there's something you're doing you're passionate about that fuels you and energizes you, right? Much like Mickey described volunteering, it's fueling for her. Coaching for me, absolute, absolutely my calling. It gives me life to give others life, right? So put those fuelers. Okay, everyone tracking along with me? Everybody good? Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. I want you to do an assessment. And if you have it now, you can share out, but text me as well. I wanna know what balance of fuelers versus drains do you currently have? I want you to see those drains as being a hundred pounds of weight each. And I want you to see those fuelers as being the fertilizer that's going to get you to the next level a lot faster. For me, this was eye-opening because I had so many drains and I wondered why at the end of the day, I was so exhausted. I wondered why, right? What boundaries do you need on your drains, your time drains, right? Your, your people that are in your inner circle, who are the board of directors you need that are going to up-level you? Not the broke, busted, disgusted, but the ones that are pushing you further, cheering you on truly and authentically to be better and to do better, right? As you get this down on paper, you will start to see 
your business really get to the next level because you are going to be very intentional and focused on how to manage the drains or shift them. So shifting the drains and adding more fuelers will actually energize you and your business, and it'll give you back time and take you from that frustrated piece to the fulfillment piece. So that's where I'm going to end. And I want to really challenge you to take this to the next level. You've opened the portal now. Keep working on this. You're going to think like, oh, I forgot to add this person, or I forgot to add this priority or this pressure that I feel, and I forgot to label it properly. So label it and then stay in touch with me. I'll list my cell phone again and text me, text me your core values and text me your balance of drainers or fuelers. And I look forward to connecting with you all and really making this go into action so it can up-level your business results the way it's done for me and a lot of my clients. Any questions or comments? Oh, thank you, Dana, good stuff. Thank you very much for that presentation. Sure, my pleasure. So just remember everybody, Dana's uh, information is in the chat and uh, text her so you can win a free coaching session. She's given away two. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we are very close to the end of, our, um, end of our meeting. Just wanna thank everyone for being here. Uh, thank all of our guests, Dana, thank you for that. Uh, Stephanie, Robert, um, looks like we had some other people uh, join in, Jonathan and Da. And Brian, thank you so much for uh, being here. Um, I'll be reaching out to you to see if you have any other questions. And uh, Tina Campbell, go ahead. You got one, one minute. 